Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your second reading for January. I already have one done, and I'm going to tag it to the end. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to get one of these, then we're going to break into that. You know, whatever comes up, comes up. I don't focus on money. So if you're looking for to know about your bank account, then I suggest you look someplace else. Um, this is for relationships, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh, transformation. This is death card. It is. So it's it's the same as uh, transition, transformation, uh, new beginning. Something is ending. It's like the end. It's the end. It's the end of what was. You guys are about to begin a new journey. All right? It's the beginning. So it's the end that leads to a new beginning. That's what this is. Congratulations. Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Pisces. Major changes right here. It's like a rebirth. All right. Renewal. Spiritual renewal as well. You guys are going through a major transformation. A release. Because the only way to go through a transformation is to release something. Something is ending that needs to end. So that you can begin again. Mm. It could be a commitment. Could be a marriage, could be something that you were committed to. I mean, this is a commitment card, right? We all know it is. It's ending. Some sort of commitment is ending. Something that has made you unhappy. It could even be a period of discontent that's ending. Maybe you're you're gonna start uh, heading towards a happier place. Well, that's absolutely gonna happen. So you are headed to a better place. There's no doubt. Oh, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, reverse. This is a very possessive, jealous uh, individual, okay? She's possessive, she's jealous, she's stubborn. Um, she can be quite a bitch. Um, so I'm not sure if you're dealing with this individual, but you probably are. Anyway, um... This could be any sign, but it does represent Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, this woman is, well, the opportunity is upside down, slipping away, so maybe you're letting it go. You could be letting it go. This could even be you. This is unrealistic, too. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles upright is very realistic. This is unrealistic, so in reverse. So if you are the female watching this, or even the male, I don't know. I think this is probably this. Is, somebody's not being realistic here. They're not thinking clearly. They're not being grounded. They're not being practical. Somebody is not being practical. I know who she is. Nine of Pentacles reversed. This is the same person, by the way. It is the same person. So we have this somebody that doesn't. Uh, see things in a positive light there's a lack of abundance here something is there's a loss there's a there's a loss with both of these cards there's a there's a, some sort of loss of stability loss of security loss of um abundance that is the truth but maybe it's for the better it definitely could be for the better. This could you could be losing some sort of abundance here with both of these pentacles reversed. You're losing something that was stable and secure. Could be something that made you happy cuz upright this is happiness. You're losing something that hmm, 
interesting. And it could be it could be hurtful. I mean, the Princess of Swords. This this is the Page of Swords, right? I mean, this is something that is painful. It's a painful truth. This is some sort of conflict, some sort of conflicting information, some kind of truth that is coming out that hurts. This is the hurtful, painful truth right here about an ending. So something is ending and it probably hurts. It probably does. I imagine it does. But yeah, somebody's moving on. Somebody's moving to a new place. Moving to a better destination. Moving away from the trouble. Queen of Swords. This is this is very uh, well. Somebody's going backwards. They've been stuck. They've they've hindered destiny and fate. <laughs> Oh, geez, this is destiny. This is fate, and it's it's reversed. It's like somebody has been stuck in a place that has hindered a reward. I mean, the real fortune brings something really rewarding and good into your life, but somebody has allowed themselves to be stuck. I don't know why. Why? Somebody has been reluctant to move in a new direction. And it could be because the hurt. But it looks like there's some sort of painful truth that is being delivered. This is this woman delivers the cold hard truth. <laughs> You could be dealing with a uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There could be two people in the mix here. There probably is. And I think that something has held you back from good luck, good fortune. Something has held you back. You've been stuck. And now you're, you're losing. You're losing something. You're losing something because of some sort of decision. What the hell is this? This is harsh. It is a harsh truth being delivered. You've got to look at something from a new perspective. And perhaps you are. Maybe you're making a cut. Maybe you're cutting this person out of your life. I don't know. Somebody's cutting another person out. Somebody is getting cut out completely. It's over. Yeah, a relationship is coming to an end. Something that, you know, was once happy, it's done, it's over. There's no more happiness there. There's been relationship problems. There's been relationship problems, and there probably still is. Somebody hasn't been practical. They haven't wanted to accept responsibility. And now they're faced with a cold, hard truth about a relationship. They probably made a wrong decision oh, with a wheel reversed. Yeah, something about their past. Oh, God. Six of Cups. This has to do with your past. Somebody from your past is in this reading again. Somebody hindered something good. You know, they, they blocked it. But they've been looking back, looking back at their past, looking back at their past, and now there's pain because of it. Anyway, um, somebody has been clinging to the past, clinging to the memories. And you may be reevaluating your past. This is a reevaluation. You may be reevaluating a connection from your past. Now, this is the past. This is. I can't pretend that it's not. I wish that I could. Uh, so this is you. This is you standing up. This is you seeing things differently. You may be seeing something differently about your past. I, you know, you may. You may. I mean, that's what this is. I'm ready to face it. I'm ready. I'm ready to face it. That's what this means. 
I don't want to hang around here anymore. I don't want to struggle. I'm sick of going backwards. I'm sick of losing money. I'm sick of losing everything. I'm sick of the bullshit. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of being stuck. I'm sick of being in this place of stagnation. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the bad luck. There's been a lot of bad luck because somebody didn't make the right decision. Oh, jeez, I'm curl. There's been. And, and that's the way it goes. When you don't make the right decision, uh, karma will kick you in the ass in good shape. Anyhow, um, so we do have a transformation here. We're going to concentrate on that. We have an ending. We have a release. We have a transition. Somebody is in the process of reevaluating, reevaluating where they want to go. Look, at, seeing things differently. I see that somebody has gone through some sort of awakening. This, these are both. I, I'm awake. I'm awake. Somebody is going through some sort of awakening and it does have to do with somebody from your past. And you guys can try to deny that all you want. But the card is here and that's the truth. A relationship from the past is on your mind. You, you can't make that shit up. And you can pretend to the universe and to all your friends and to all your family, but the cards don't lie. Somebody from your past is on your mind, and that's the case. And it's hindering your ability to be successful and to start a new chapter with anybody else. And that's the cold, hard truth. It's time. It's time to go in a new direction. It's time to end. It's time for this to end. It's time for this to be released. It's time for this to, it's time for you to transition out of this phase. It's time for your new beginning. You're being given an opportunity, an exciting opportunity for a new life, really. And you probably have this new vision. You could have somebody new coming into your life this, more, this month that is causing you to feel very, very excited. Is this somebody from the past? Uh, what a contradiction. Son of a bitch. Okay, there's a lack of honesty here. There's a lack of truth. <laughs> I can't make that up. There's a lack of communication. Maybe you want a passionate new start with somebody, but there's a, somebody's afraid to communicate. I don't know. Something has gone south. Now I ask the question, is it with somebody from the past? Probably not. No communication. And maybe it's because you've blocked communication. Who knows? There's a lack of truth here. Somebody's not telling the truth. I mean, I can't pretend and whatever. Some, And you know... And I'm not trying to put you guys down, but I Pisces is escapism. I don't want to. I don't want to believe the truth. Well, if you think about water, what does water do? It tries to skirt around the rocks. It tries to skirt around the trouble. It that's what it does. It moves around stuff. You think about the river and all the rocks. That's what water does. They go around it. They don't. They don't. You know. Those rocks and those boulders are put there for a reason. To stop you from doing something that you shouldn't do. To protect you. Whatever. We could go, we could go on all day, but we're not going to. Somebody has a, uh, an opportunity to relight or rekindle or start something new. But they're avoiding it. The tower reverse is, reverse is avoiding. Re avoiding. Avoiding. Avoiding uh, anything. I don't want destruction. I don't want pain. I, I don't want this to break down. Fear. 
Maybe somebody is avoiding, I don't want to tell the truth. I don't, I don't want to spill the beans. I don't, I'm avoiding communication for what reason? Not only are you avoiding a passionate new beginning, you are avoiding some sort of good fortune, some sort of fated something. This is fate. You're, you're avoiding something that you are de destined to be with. Yeah, escapism. This is escaping. Escaping. That's what this is. Trying to hide the truth with some sort of addiction. I can't make this shit up. It's escapism. I don't want to change. I don't want to evolve. But the thing is, is you know that you have to. You do know that you have to, but you've been trying to avoid it and avoiding it. And you got to look where the cards land has caused you misfortune, bad luck, uh, financial issues, bad karma. This is bad karma, bad juju. Trying to avoid the truth has caused you bad luck and shit will continue to go south until you do the right thing. You have to be honest. You have to communicate. Whatever. You are, somebody is trying to avoid having to speak the truth or something like that. Avoiding their true feelings. Avoiding their, how they truly uh, think about their past. That is no fucking lie either. Escaping. But because you're trying to heal, but you're not healing. The temperance reverse is not healing. It's hindering you. It's hindering you. You're hindering yourself trying to escape reality of some sort. And that's what Pisces does. That is what Pisces does. So, let's get a more positive reading here. We do have a transformation, so that's an ending of something. An ending of something that has been very, very troublesome, okay? Um, but it's all in your hands. It's about you standing up. And seeing things in and no longer being stuck. It's coming out of your limbo. It's coming out of your space of a su suspension. It's about you standing up and doing the right thing and facing a struggle. You have to face this struggle. And it has to do with communicating. And there's avoiding communication because I don't want to tell the truth. <laughs> I see it clearly. It's time to reevaluate and give. This is about giving. Give. Give. You get what you give. That's what this is. You get what you give. And you get what you deserve. King of Pentacles reversed. Somebody's not being realistic here. They're not. Stubborn. Stubborn as hell. There's a soulmate connection. There is. Yeah, same with the Six of Cups. There's a soulmate connection here. <laughs> but, but, it's being, uh, thrown away. It is. It's slipping away. This soulmate connection is slipping away. It's been turned upside down because somebody's not being practical. Somebody's not being wise. Somebody is stubborn. Probably both people are stubborn. Stubborn as hell. And somebody is trying to avoid the reality. But avoiding the truth has caused a lot of upheaval in their life. There's a lot of upheaval. It's a lot of bullshit. Because if you don't follow the, the destiny, because this is destiny and it's reversed. You know, you try to fight the universe. You try to fight the, the universal plan. Well... They're going to, they're going to, it's either what you resist persists. You will continue to go backwards and you will continue to get that bad karma until you do the right thing. Um, there's lack of wish fulfillment here. I mean, I can't, you guys want me to pretty this up? You'd like me to, you'd like me to pretend that it's all peaches and cream? Is that what you would like? I'm sure that is, but there, it's not peaches and cream. There's no wish fulfillment where you're at because somebody is not giving what they need to give then they're not putting in the effort where they need to put it in there's an opportunity for a passionate new start here perhaps i don't know i don't believe that for a second yeah it's too late there's no love there's no love there um yeah there's maybe there's not maybe the opportunity is gone 
There's no more love. There's no more love. There is no more love. And maybe that's why you're releasing it. The love is gone. The love has died. There's no more love. There's no more wish fulfillment here. There's no more um, give and take. There's no more anything. There isn't. There isn't. I think a soulmate connection it has died. And, you know, now you guys are releasing it. I think it's a month of release. You've lost a lot of sleep. It's been painful. <laughs> It's been painful, it's been stressful, and I think that it's been on your mind quite, quite, quite a bit. It has. It's been on your mind. You've been, you've lost a lot of sleep over this. I think that it's kept you up many, 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 many nights. The fact that this love has died. I think that you are wanting a new start. But you need to realize that you do have a better opportunity. And I think that you do. I think that you do. I think that you are starting to realize. I think that you have grieved long enough for this person. And it's, and it's time. It's time for you to turn around and head in a new direction. It's the truth. Because wherever you're at, there's no more friendship even it's like you guys can't even be friends anymore there's no friendship there's no playfulness there's no happiness um there's no togetherness there's no you know reward there's no giving this person isn't there's nothing to give there's nothing to give here there's no coming together with this person whoever it is from your past it's like you may be you may be sad and upset that things turned out the way they did but when you involve another person the way that, you know, whatever, there's there's no going backwards from there. There's no going back. There's no going back. Um, and now it's time to nurture yourself. It's time to love yourself. It's time to do what's right for you. It's time to open your heart fully to another person. Nurture yourself. It, it looks like there's an opportunity. I mean, I can't pretend <laughs> there's a lost opportunity here. And, it, and this cup is like closed, right? It is. It's like because you didn't offer love. Somebody didn't open their heart. The cup is closed. They didn't let their love out. They didn't give their love. And now the golden opportunity is gone. So it's time for you to release it. It's time for you to release it. It's time for you to, to let it go. There's an opportunity that has been lost. And it's time for you to release it and, and move in a new direction. So I feel like this is a time of transformation where you are releasing something that, that weighed you down very heavily from your past. I don't feel like you're really happy about it. I feel like you um, know that it's, that it's too late. You know that it's gone and you may be a little upset that it's gone but um it's too late it's too late and i think that um you have a better opportunity i think that you have a better opportunity and it's time it's time for you to completely let it drop let it release don't look back do not look back please do not look back and and move in a new direction because whoever this person is from the past that is in your dreams and in your thoughts and causing you to have sleepless nights, this person is, um, well, let's see about this person from the past. This person from the past, what are their, what, what's going on with them? What's going on with them? This person from the past. This person is happy. This person from the past has probably found somebody else. They, they've probably found somebody else and they're starting to build a foundation with that person. They're receiving good, good karma. They're receiving justice. They're receiving balance in their life. This person is, has made a final decision. This person from the past has made their final decision. It's final. Justice is final. The decision has been made. 
in regards to stability, in regards to a relationship. They want something solid. They want something long-term. They want something abundant. This decision has been made. And they're not moving in your direction at all. It's completely over. It's, this person from the past has um, is not taking any action whatsoever. They're 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 not moving. They're not moving. They they're they're stable. They're secure. They're they're probably engaged with somebody else that is very stable. And they're building a new foundation. They're starting a new life. They're they're having a opportunity. You know something solid. They're headed towards something solid. So this person from the past has made the final decision and it's time for you to release so I feel like it is time for you to, to release something because you are about to have a new life a new beginning but you do have one step and that step is is getting unstuck from whatever this memory is from your past let it go and open your heart this time to the next one good luck <laughs>